yeah welcome to baking with chelsea because i realized i haven't made a food video in however long and i need you guys to appreciate my divine cooking and baking skills Okay, hi guys. So today we are going to be making salted Honey Parker house rolls by a cozy kitchen. I've had this saved in Instagram since like 2020 2021 like a very long time and I was going through my saved recipes because I do occasionally when I want some inspiration and I was like I should make this these look scrumptious so, so far what I have done is I buttered, oiled, whatever you want to call it, a 9 by 13 baking pan. The one that she used was higher, but she did say use any baking pan or size that you have available. So I buttered that and then in this pot turned bowl, this is my favorite pot to use for baking because it's useless as a wok because it's stainless steel and not, um, not cast iron. Um, so in this I have, let me just show you before I spill this flour. I have four and a half cups of all-purpose flour and also two packets of instant yeast from Fleshman's, I believe. And then normally you would also add two tablespoons or two teaspoons of salt. But I'm going to be using salted butter in my buttermilk honey mixture which will also be going into this eventually. And so I do not want to add salt to this as well because of the salted butter. And this is also topped with salt because it's supposed to be, you know, sweet and salty, you know, perfect mixture. So I'm not going to add salt to this because I don't want to kill my family members with iodine. So, yeah, that is what we are looking like right now. Y'all, this household would not have as many baking supplies as we do if it weren't for me. Like, these measuring cups, me. Um, the rolling pin, literally mine. I bought it and I keep it in my room for safety. Um, I did not buy it. I got it as a birthday gift off my wish list. Um, what else? I literally cannot remember what. Oh, measuring cup. I bought this from Target. The baking pan. No, bought this from Amazon. Bought the baking pans. Comes in a set of three from Target. Like, what are we doing here, people? I, I need to flourish my baking skills and then I literally bought the yeast today because I was walking past the supermarket and I was like I'm outside I might as well might as well because I went on a little impromptu trip after I finished my internship at about 4 30 you know left for Manhattan picked up some stuff from the ordinary that I ordered online bought a fountain pen from a bookstore close to the the ordinary because I have a bottle of ink and it says that it can be used for fountain pens so I know that I won't run out for quite a while and I did not pay for that ink I got it from my school as a part of art class and then I was almost going to get food but I was like nope not buying food in lower Manhattan because that is usually expensive so now I'm home and I've done a lot more talking than baking but you know why that is it's because we don't have any honey and I forgot we don't have honey because I'm so used to us having honey so I was like ring ring father when you're on your way back from my brother's soccer practice ring ring bring a little bit of honey so um it's 8 13 now I'll probably begin baking around 10 13 because that's how long it's gonna take for him to come but that's okay because you won't get to feel the agony of me waiting. I am probably just going to whip out Roblox and just because of nostalgia. And I haven't been on Roblox. I need the lighting to figure itself out. Camera, could you could you figure that out for me? Thank you. Um, I haven't played Roblox in literally years. So I'm just having the time of my childhood life. I used to be on Roblox every day. Um, Natural Disaster Survival. I used to play that game specifically, religiously. And now, no matter what server I join, I'm always on the leaderboard because I have like a hundred survivals or something. So we irritate. Anyways, I'm, let, let's cut to the baking. Oh, I wish I could synthesize a picture perfect guy <laughs> or girl. <laughs> In preparation for the eventual honey i'm going to prepare the milk ahead of time we're using one and one third cups of milk so just 
Anyways, just going to use one and one third cup of milk. Y'all hear how much is in there? Definitely not one and one third. Baby, not even a cup. Baby, not even a cup. That That's half foam. Would be perfect for a latte. Half foam. But you know what? That's okay because my sister doesn't really drink her whole milk anymore. My baby sister. Because we've put her on food now. Now, we've been trying to put her on food for a hot minute. But her babysitter would not stop giving her milk, 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 milk. So, we're going to use some of her whole milk with the lactate. And reintroduce some of that, that fat content. You know, you could could hurry up you could hurry up why is one third not on this girls how much ounces oh wait there's it's on the side this has so many numbers on it so I'm just gonna pour to the one one third mark not counting the foam so it'll it looks like it's almost at one and two thirds but that's because of the foam so here we have one and one third cup of milk and I'm not going to take out the butter because that's obviously going to melt, but I am going to refrigerate this. Ooh, ASMR. Yeah. While I'm here waiting for the honey, by the way, it's literally been five minutes since those last clips. Just realized there's also no food in the fridge for us to eat for dinner and smart me took out shrimp to defrost around two it's now 819 the shrimp is defrosted so what are we going to make I don't feel like having white rice I don't feel like having quinoa I live in New York um so looking in the cupboard I see that we do have yellow rice um because I love to use this when making I don't know why I did that. Tacos. So we're gonna do yellow rice and shrimp and then I have to figure out what veggies I'm gonna use. Um, maybe. My mom asked me to bring a tight outside for her so I'm gonna go bring it outside. Then I'm going to figure out what veggie I'm going to add to this shrimp and yellow rice because veggies I always add to every meal, even though my brother never eats them, the rest of the household does. All right, okay. Why? I just want you to know, this is my natural chaotic energy. I just never have the opportunity to be like this in my sit down videos, because those are more serious. But, we out here baking and cooking. Hey, baking and cooking. Hey, baking and cooking. Baking pancakes, making baking pancakes. Bacon pancakes, bacon bacon. Will I get copyrighted for that? It's crazy. It's crazy. You think you think Jacob's Jacob? Wow. Y'all think y'all think Jake's the ops? I don't know. I think Bemo would be more the ops than Jake. But let me, let me go get my mom her tights. Let, let me go do that. Let me go do that. I'm back. And as I was looking through the freezer, I was like, we've got no veg. We just have a bunch of beans, pimento, green. Snap at like just a bunch of beans, a bunch of beans and miscellaneous seafood meat. Then I look in the fridge and I remember my mom one bought bok choy, which I'm not doing. I don't know why I have an accent because I have to clean the sand and grit out of the bok choy, and we're not doing that today. But then I realize she's forgotten her poor spinach that's already starting to wilt and just desecrate in the humidity of the bag it was in. And the only reason I, I remember this was spinach is because the the damp tag right there. And I was like, what if I just washed and cooked the, the spinach before it dies? But I don't know if I should do one or two bunches because what if she's like, hey, I get plans for that. So like, matter of fact, why 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 don't I just call and ask, y'all? Simple resolutions. Unacceptable. You know what? Parents act like they are so grown these days. Like we didn't raise them. Oh, never mind. Hello, mother. Um, so there's no veggies in the freezer, so I'd like to use your spinach. There's no what? There's no vegetables in the freezer, so I'd like to use your spinach. What? To cook. What? 
What do you mean what? Because there has to be vegetables with a meal. And you have abandoned them. Look, they look so sad. They're wilted and broken and dying. I will. Right. What do you mean why? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Not her about to gatekeep spinach anyways. Parents, they think they're grown. They think they, they reach their 40s and think they're grown. That's crazy. Anyways. Okay, so I've washed the first bunch, and I think I'm gonna cut this, fir this, this first bunch just to see how much it is. Maybe I'll only use one because I'm not wasteful. I'm not only using the leaves. The stem is going in too, trust and believe that. Um, but yeah, they're very weak. I'm pretty sure I've broken the stems of most of these by now. Not a professional. I don't wanna hear about my technique. All right, at least I'm alive. Which is ironic because my dad's a cook for a living. So he'd probably be like, what in the hell are you doing? Anyways. Normally I would put a paper towel or a rag underneath this to keep it still, but can I'm hungry. Like my stomach is growling and this is gonna take a century to cook. Not really. If I put the, we're gonna do the rice after this. So that starts cooking now. Gonna have some greenery. Greenery. Veggies are good for you and they taste good, especially with adobo, so don't skimp out on your veggies. They're delicious. Especially those packs of frozen vegetables. Those are my favorite to cook. That's why I'm devastated that we don't currently have any, but spinach is usually in them anyway, so it's just fresher. Um, we're gonna do exactly what this says. Not exactly, because what do you mean? I'm not doing all that stovetop business. It says, oh, bye, never mind. I thought it was saying to put this in like a saucepan, like, no, in a frying pan, but it means in a saucepan like this. So we're gonna, crack, ooh, that was nice. We're gonna crack this baby open. Oh, it's very fragrant. That's like my favorite smell of seasoning. So I'm already using the measuring cup. So what are we going to use to measure two cups of water and a tablespoon of oil? One third cup, baby. No, we're not, because I have to use this for something. One fourth cup, baby. That's gonna take so long, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna do it anyways. I should have saved the measuring cup, but I didn't know I was going to be cooking. So, one fourth. I definitely spilled some of that. Two fourth. Three fourth. One fourth. Two fourth. Wait, no. One fourth again. Two fourth. Three fourth. Four fourth. That's it? That's not a lot of water. That is not a lot of water. That is not, a, that looks like one cup. I don't trust that. Something about that is not right. Do I have anything else I can, why don't you fourth that out again? One fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourth, one fourth, Two fourth, three fourth, four fourth. That looks more like two cups. I don't know what I did the first time. I probably spilt more than I thought. And then tablespoon of oil, no problem. In general, I usually start with the rice first because it takes the longest. So keep that in mind, kids, if you want everything to be finished around the same time. I would normally add butter, but I just follow what this container says and use oil. All right, so I'm gonna bring this to a boil, if you'll just follow me. I should start preparing my seasoning for the shrimp. 
right? Should I? I think I should. Okay, what are we gonna use? Let's get some garlic first. Not yet. There's no way the garlic is finished. I will cry. Not the, oh, I'm just blind. The garlic's not finished. I just used the whole uh, bulb of it previously to make broth. Okay, we're gonna do four cloves. Four is a nice number. Four cloves. I'm gonna start adding in a cup. Disgusting. We're gonna whip out some seasoning. Um, what should we start with? We're gonna start with paprika. When did we get more paprika? I thought we ran out. This is not the right angle. You're gonna just deal with my face for a bit. Oh, obviously, we got we got have some salt. Maybe we add a smidge of curry powder. What is this? Ground ground garlic with butter flavor for all your favorite dishes garlic bread and salads do we have a ton who bought this oh no these are different this is gar what is this what is this one this is different from this one what who put this stuff in here is that it is that is that, is that all we, we're doing should I add peas to the rice? I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna add peas to the rice. What I think we're gonna do is season up our shrimp. But that is, the bowl with the flour is usually what I would use to season the shrimp. So, we're gonna use a, diff a different bowl. Save me now. Okay, it's me. And although it looks like I'm cooking in the kitchen of heaven, I did a few stuff off screen, like I threw salt, garlic, and oil in here. And what I'm going to do is put our shrimp in here for putting it in the bowl. Throwing away this shrimp. I'm gonna add some paprika to this shrimp. I was like, what is the paprika doing here? Waiting for her turn. So we're gonna add about one and a half teaspoons. Okay, I'm gonna add some. I think that should be enough. Just gonna turn that. Is that enough, guys? Is that? Because it's not supposed to be the primary flavor, it's just to add some flavor. I'm gonna add a bit more. Just to add some flavor and some color. So I'm just gonna very quickly burn that. I think that is decently burned. Next we're gonna add in the onion. Our little garlic butter seasoning. I'm gonna add a little bit in. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, we're going to add in our shrimp quickly. This looks like a, maybe two pounds of shrimp. Low key guys, might make some more of the rice in the microwave. Because that is not going to be enough. I'm going to focus on this shrimp oil. And I'm going to now put this to steam.
multitasking. Okay, yeah. We're gonna add some adobo and Cajun seasoning. And then we're going to keep cooking. All right, besties, practically everything but the extra rice is done. I added some more salt to the shrimp. Appetizing, tastes appetizing. Spinach is done, wilted and cooked very quickly. I might take another shrimp. That was scrumptious. This became cooking and not baking. Isn't that something? This is gonna be a part one. Watch part two, which will come out two days after this, to see me make the salted something honey. Park, Parker rolls, whatever they're called, because I am making them tonight. So, yeah, this is um nice for me. I'm sure you can hear the microwave in the background. That's the rice. It'll be fine. Do you guys need a final plating? Honestly, I'm gonna just show you what we're working with: the shrimp, the spinach the rice and you know really it's what does Tabitha say like so like that if you've watched this far clearly you know you enjoy the content so why not just subscribe at this point I mean if you want to see more deliciousness and chaoticness like this then you should just go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, creating tons of funny and just enjoyable content over here so we'd love to have you in the community Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.